Uh, fellow legislators, good morning. In my everyday life as a politician, there are not that many plenaries or meetings where I would be exclusively surrounded by my allies and supporters. And today is very different. And you know what? It feels amazing. <laughs> we, as legislators, we dedicate a lot of time, effort, and our personal struggle for advancing or advocating for human rights. We are united by the simple but yet very powerful idea. Every human is unique and capable of loving and being loved. We, are the, we, we very often encounter opposition and sometimes even hostility. And yet we are still here, true to ourselves and true to the ideas that we stand for. I would really like us to stop here for a second and appreciate the, the path that we have already traveled. I know that many of you have become politicians not regardless of being LGBTIQ+, but because of being LGBTIQ+. Many of us, at some point of our professional path, felt that the political establishment is not willing to hear and to act upon the struggles of LGBTIQ+ plus people in our jurisdictions. So we have decided to become politicians ourselves. And sometimes we did not even grasp the gravity and importance of this bold step. I have followed a very similar path myself. Before entering the big politics, I have been an LGBTIQ plus activist for almost a decade. I was dreaming that one day my country would work for LGBTIQ plus people and would stop treating us as a second class citizens. So I asked for their vote and I got elected as a member of the parliament. Some of you might relate to the difficulty of transferring between activism and politics. One day, as an activist, you have the full right to criticize and demand from the government. The next day, Already as a politician, you have a part of the government yourself, and you are expected to deliver the results, now and quick. Being a politician is a great privilege, but it bears its own cost. Today I want to applaud all of your courage, dedication, and resilience. You are the driving force behind the change in your own community, in your own country, in your own continent. Please. Keep going on and never doubt yourself. Also, please support Ukraine, fighting for democracy and international order. <laughs> and you know what? For once, good guys have to win. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your presence.